over the top media service which offers contents like movies series and news on the internet is about to overtake multiplexes as an entertainment option a recent spi research report has said pandemic it seems brought people closer to their tv sets and mobile phones and good content made them stick around with over 122 million indians now subscribing to at least one ott service india is one of the world's fastest growing streaming video markets and original and low budget content will further fuel this growth to capture this fast growing market ott content spending has risen almost 6 times from 1690 crore rupees in 2017 to 9840 crore rupees by the end of 2022 From 2018, the business has grown from almost nothing to over 17,000 crore rupees in ad and pay revenue. Production companies and content creators like the Viral Fever seem to have cracked the code, belting out hits like Kota Factory, Gulak, and Panchayat. Each of these series has attempted at capturing the slice of life from tier two and tier three towns and rural areas, focusing on the microcosmic drama of daily family affairs, rural life, and student life. They have also cultivated a pool of bankable talent who proved to be at home with TVF's unique character profiles. Vikas and Prahlad Pandey of Panchayat seem to be real life characters. Content houses for web series are proliferating rapidly. while TVF BBC Studios and Applaus are among the more consistent producers of quality content most other production companies like D2R Films which created the family man Emmy winning Delhi crimes creator poor man's production and Ding Entertainment which mounted Asur on Woot to name a few haven't moved beyond one or two shows so there are certain platforms who are based in terms of tier 2 and tier 3 markets they make those kind of web series Uh, there are certain platforms which are you know based for the premium audience which is pure play as what something like a netflix which is more on the premium lines which is there so they would make that kind of content which will appeal to the premium audience which is there so it's very important also to market your content appropriately in terms of the target market that you're trying to reach out to because that will eventually lead lead to a big positive impact in terms of consumption and uh, last but not the least i think what leads to success uh, content success failure success or failure Uh, one big factor here is word of mouth so if you look at reviews word of mouth uh, these play a very important role uh, in terms of you know uh, the piece of content or the web series uh, being successful or not then what is the secret recipe behind sustained success of tvf shows or the family man shreyansh pandey the head of tvf originals and the creator of such fan favorites like gulak and aspirants particularly for us uh, for the shows that we have made at tvf the viral fever uh we have been able to uh, bring alive some of the stories which are very very relatable and also deeply rooted in the indian culture i think that is something uh which was lacking for a very long time you know this was this huge audience which was not able to relate to the content being played on tv or let's say the linear programming you know there is a new audience who are waiting to hear stories of new india the new india which is aspirational the new india which is definitely living for their dreams there is also the challenge of assessing the success of the content and modifying them for consistency i definitely feel that there should be a mechanism wherein Uh, the platforms the gatekeepers are able to condense uh, it into a form which can then be made available to storytellers for them to do better on one show or maybe across the stories which they create it it helps you uh, better your craft it helps you understand what's what are the sort of things about one particular character inside a story about a universe about a show which is working well which is resonating with the audience it is not just about the difficulty of assessing viewership data hiring and retention of talent can also be a major issue often feature length films rank higher on the talent's priority list than a 10 episode web series tarani however points out that the casting choices too are getting diversified and depend on both the budget as well as the target audience so for example if the web series or the platform appeals more to the youth Uh, or the youth audience rather gen z uh, which is there 
they would get more of these uh, you know social media influencers or maybe the tvf uh, kind of star cast which is there in terms of a web series uh, but if if the if the platform or the web series is appealing more to the middle age audience or uh, maybe the set of advertisers are mass in nature when they want a larger target audience Uh, they would get the larger stars uh, because there is a capacity to spend that much amount of money in terms of the getting those stars on board so it depends on your cost budget allocation depends on what kind of marketing you want to do depends on what kind of target audience you want to have depends on your customers i mean what would your advertisers you know actually want uh, you know from your viewers basically content creation for web series has proven to be a sunrise sector for the entertainment and media industry Experts believe that the success probability of web series is only going to improve with time. An increase in the traction of talent towards OTT focused content creation also seem to be a matter of time. However, it will be crucial that content creators are given a glimpse or at least an overarching picture of viewership data by the OTT platforms themselves. If you like this video, share it and subscribe to Business Standard. For more news, views and insights, log on to www.business-standard.com. Do also follow us on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Telegram and LinkedIn.